James Webb just detected enormous distant galaxy that should not exist. Do you believe in the existence of the impossible? Something that defies all expectations? Something that shouldn't exist, but does? Well, that's precisely what the James Webb Space Telescope has just recently discovered. Enormous, distant galaxies full of mature red stars that should not exist. No one was expecting to find these giant distant galaxies because they were not supposed to be there. But the James Webb stumbled upon them and now no one can explain how they formed or why they are there. The James Webb Telescope is an amazing piece of technology designed to look into deep space and discover the unexpected. If you do not know yet what James Webb is capable of and what the actual purpose of this observatory is, I am sure you need to see this video. Have you ever wondered what the early universe looked like? Astronomers are scratching their heads over these newly discovered galaxies that seem to be too old and too big to exist in the early universe. Discovered by the James Webb during, these massive galaxies full of mature red stars have created a mystery for scientists. The galaxies are so far away that they appear only as tiny reddish dots to the powerful telescope. Analysis of the light emitted by these galaxies has revealed that they were formed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang in the universe's infancy. Astronomers had expected the first star clusters to form shortly after the universe emerged from the so-called Dark Ages, the first 400 million years of its existence when only a thick fog of hydrogen atoms filled space. However, the galaxies discovered in the web images appeared shockingly big and the stars in them too old. These findings conflict with existing ideas of how the universe is looked and evolved in its early years and do not match earlier observations made by Webb's less powerful predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. The new findings contradict the answers we already have, and this has got the astronomers a little scared because it could completely change our understanding of the universe and how it came into being. Previous studies of the early universe with Hubble and other instruments tend to find small blue baby galaxies at early times, objects which have just recently formed out of the primordial cosmic soup and are themselves building their early stars and structures. Young stars generally shine bright blue with age they develop a redder glow as they burn through their fuel and cool down. Astronomers had not expected to see old red stars in ancient galaxies that Webb was built to spot. They also had not expected to find galaxies more massive than perhaps a billion suns. But those reddish dots revealed in Webb's deep fields appear 50 times more massive than that. Before astronomers start rewriting cosmology theories to explain how these galaxies came together so quickly after the Big Bang, they will have to ensure the odd red dots they are looking at are not something else. Like the video if you are also intrigued by these odd red dots captured by Webb. Most of the alternative explanations, however, also require entirely new concepts. For example, stars in the early universe might emit light in exotic ways due to their lack of heavy elements, or perhaps the understanding of how stars form locally, like how many stars form from gas as a function of the mass of the stars, is entirely inapplicable in the early universe. These things would also be exciting to discover and would also overturn our understanding of star formation in the early universe, just in a very different way. Webb's near-infrared camera obtained the images that revealed these puzzling galaxies as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program. Astronomers plan to soon turn Webb's mirror to these galaxies again to, this time, obtain light spectra of those distant dots, spectra break down the observed light according to its wavelength composition, and thus reveal the chemical and physical properties of its source. A spectrum will pretty immediately tell us if our hypotheses are correct. In only a little over a year after the Webb team released the first observations from the Grand Observatory, scientists were already challenged to rewrite their theories about the early universe. Could these six galaxies be the key to unlocking the secrets of the early universe? Are there more of these mysterious giants out there waiting to be discovered? We may not have all the answers yet, but one thing is for sure, this discovery has opened up a whole new world of possibilities and has left scientists and space enthusiasts alike in awe. The discovery of these massive, ancient galaxies challenges our understanding of how the universe formed and evolved. 
it suggests that the early universe was more efficient at producing galaxies than we previously thought, and that there may be more large, ancient galaxies out there waiting to be discovered. This finding also has implications for our understanding of the formation of heavy elements in the universe. These elements, like carbon and oxygen, are created in the cores of stars and spread throughout the universe when those stars explode as supernovae. The fact that these massive galaxies were able to form so early in the universe's history suggests that heavy elements may have been more abundant than we thought or that the universe was able to produce them more quickly than we previously believed. Moreover, this discovery shows us that the universe still has many secrets to reveal. So as we continue to explore the cosmos, we are constantly reminded that there is still so much we don't know. And that's what makes space exploration so exciting and rewarding. Every new discovery brings us closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. And with new technologies and more powerful telescopes on the horizon, there's never been a better time to be a space enthusiast. Now that you learned almost everything about distant galaxies, it is an absolute must to also get to know the information in this video. Without this information, you will be missing out on some of the most important properties of discovering distant life. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. CET. Stay tuned, space explorers.